Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Jonathan today. I'm going to be doing another episode of Ask Jonathan Anything. But due to the question and how long it's going to take for me to answer this one question, I'll only be answering this one in this video. And the question comes from a user named Jeremiah 990442. And before I get into your question, Jeremiah, I want to thank you for your support of this channel. You've given me a lot of comments, and I'm sure you've been hitting that thumbs up button, and I really do appreciate it. So let's go ahead and get right into your question here. It says, how do you make intro and outros for videos? That's a very good question, Jeremiah, and I'm glad you asked it. Um, I use a program called ScreenFlow to do my intro and outros, and I also record straight from my Mac and import straight to ScreenFlow until I get me a better camera, which I'm going to do in a couple months. But I use that as uh, to do all of my editing on my videos and, like I said, my outros and all that good stuff. So without much further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this video, and I'll answer your question, Jeremiah. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to make an intro for your videos. So let's go ahead and go right down here to ScreenFlow, and let's go up here and choose new empty document. Okay, so this is going to be a tutorial. I'm just going to fly right through it. I'm not going to go through all the different things of ScreenFlow. This is just specifically how to make intros and outros. So let's go over here and let's go to add media. Let me go to YouTube media files. And I got my today's free apps logo saved right here. So let's import that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Today's Free Apps logo and drag it over to the screen here. Let me resize it. Okay, now I'm going to create a video action of this logo flying in, doing little turns. I'm sure you've seen this if you watch my videos. Let me just show you how I do it. Go ahead and turn it the X rotation, the Y rotation, turn it, and the Z rotation. And I'm going to Minimize it all the way down. Okay, now I'm going to add a video action right here and I'm going to bring it back in. And before I click off the video action, I'm going to go over here and change the X, Y, and Z rotation all to zero and click off the screen. So you see that here. Let me resize it a little bit more. Okay, now I'm going to Go back to the beginning and show you how it flies in. So you see a little twist there, it done. Okay, so now let me move this over. I'm gonna let that fly in, then I want a text to drop in below it. I'll just let it fade in. So let's go ahead and type here today's free apps. Triple click there and you can change the font and the size. I like 96 though. You can change the color here. So let's go to, let's just pick one silver. Let's click off. Let's resize it. I mean, let's, let's move it under the logo here. Okay, so now I want this uh, text here to fade in after this logo flies in. So first what we need to do is find the point exactly when the logo flies in and when it stops. So right there, I want it to fade in. So let's click on that. Let's go over to Video Properties and let's change this all the way down to zero. Okay, so now we got it. It's blank there, so okay. So let's go back, click on this, Add Video Action put it all the way back to 100%. So now let's go back and see what it does. So you see how it faded in? So that, that that's a um, way you can make an intro for your videos to make it more professional. Okay, so now moving on to outros. I wanna show you how I do my outros and all that good stuff. So over here you see three media uh, files that I've already selected, which I had this earlier in the intro one. But I got my one of my previous videos here, and I have a screenshot which is just a, a white background. So let's go ahead and double click that. Let's move this over to the beginning. And let's let's make this all the way big so it covers the 
whole screen. So now you have just a pure, clean, white background. Okay, so now let's go ahead and drag one of my videos in here. Let's resize it. Put it in the middle of the screen. And if you want this to fly in, you can do like I just did earlier. Move it off the screen. Go over here to add. Well, actually, let's go ahead and change the Y rotation. Let's add video action. Move it over and change the Y rotation back to zero. Click off of it and there you have it. Let me go ahead and mute this audio on this video. There we go. Let's move it over to the middle. You can see how it flies in there. Okay, so at this point I stopped it. Now I want a text to fly down over this video to have the title of this video over it. So let's go ahead and click text, add text box. And let's add a title. Top five apps. Just for example. So let's move this up. Now I want to remove this background, this black background off of this text. So let's double click it, go over here to backdrop and just uncheck it. Now let's change the color to lead off this let's center this in all right so let's do a video action on this text let's go ahead and scroll all the way out go back to video properties add video action and just bring it in so let's start over and take a look at it you see how that real professional look it just came right in Okay, so after this, I want my logo to appear right here. So let's go back to media. Just drag my logo in. Let's place it right here. And I want to change the Y rotation about right there. Now I'm going to add a video action to this logo. So I click video action. Let's go back to Y rotation zero. Click it off. Let's go back a little bit and take a look at it. Okay. And if you want, you need to go down here, select the white background and make it as long as you need the clip to be. Okay. So after that logo flies in, I want to make a text down here. So let's click add text box. Let's click the video above. Remove the backdrop, change the color to lead. And there you go. And you like it like you did before you can make a little spin on it if you wanted to and all that good stuff now i'm going to make a subscribe button over here and the reason why i'm doing this guys if you don't know already you can create annotations around this video and people can click on this to continue watching your videos after they watch the one they're on and you if you have a subscribe box over here they just click on it and make it more convenient for people to subscribe to you so just click add text box Subscribe. Move the backdrop. And I want, actually the backdrop needs to be yellow. Let's do lemon. And let's make the text color this right here. Resize it a little bit. Now you have a little subscribe box that people can click on. Okay everybody, thanks for watching my video today. I hope you did enjoy it. If this did help you out, please hit the like button and comment down below and let me know what you think of this video. And feel free to subscribe right here guys for my future videos if you want to. I do mostly app reviews, but I also do Apple news. And every now and then I might do videos like this, tutorials and things of that nature. And also, if you want to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, I have those pages. The links are in the description below and on my channel page if you're interested. So thanks once again, guys, for watching this video today. And thanks, Jeremiah, for your questions. 
If you have any more questions for me, leave them in the comments below and I'll answer them in the next episode of Ask Jonathan Anything. So once again, this is Jonathan with the Days Free Outs. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.